Hey viewers and friends, Andrew back again for another DVD, Blu-ray and box set update. Went to the shops again this morning and of course there's some great sales going around here in Australia. So I'll be mentioning where I picked stuff up from and prices just to help my local viewers out. Hopefully you guys can pick up some bargains as well. Um, sales, shops, plus Andrew equals spending. I really can't resist a good sale, um, but as I said, really good prices on these and quite a few titles that I've been wanting to add to the collection for a while now. So I'll start with the Blu-rays first and then m work my way slowly to the box set. So the first title I picked up is Blu-ray of Uncle Buck. This is a great 80s comedy, one of my favourites from the 80s and one of my favourite John Candy movies. I wasn't even aware this was getting a local Blu-ray release, but apparently it only just came out today. Uh, this was at a budget price of $12.87 at Big W. Um, JB Hi-Fi also have it for $13. Um, I don't even own this on DVD, so for that price it was well worth picking up on Blu-ray. No idea what the transfer is like, but I'm assuming it's probably going to be pretty good. Um, now the next slot I picked up from Sanity. The first one is City of Ember. Uh, this is one that Brian found while we were hunting through the Blu-ray sale table. We've both seen this before, both really enjoyed it. Great little family fantasy adventure movie. Next we have The Wolfman. Uh, this is one that I never really had much interest in seeing until quite a few people mentioned how good this was on YouTube, especially Michael and Randy. So this was $15 at Sanity. So glad to finally pick this one up and give it a watch for myself. Uh, the next two titles were recommended to me from One Quick GT or Eddie, so thanks a lot. Uh, they were both $10 each from Sanity. The first one is Natural Born Killers. I've never seen this movie before. But I've heard a lot of good things about it, and it's been one that I've been wanting to check out for a while, so glad to finally own it. And I Sell the Dead, which is another one that I'd only just heard about recently through Eddie. Um, he couldn't recommend it enough. Again, this was also $10 at Sanity. Got some special features on it. It's even got some artwork inside. And I'm actually in the mood for a good fun horror comedy, so looking forward to checking this one out. So thanks a lot, Eddie, for those two recommendations. And the last thing I picked up from Sanity, um, only just saw it as we were walking out, so glad that I did spot them. And it is this. Friday the 13th, part 3 now. To a lot of people, this probably isn't going to be a big deal, um, but... It was $5 and it's got the Australian exclusive slip cover on it. Uh, these are fairly hard to track down with the slip covers now, I believe. And if you can track down these copies, they normally go for about $18 brand new. Um, so really stoked to find this one. Uh, part 2 also has the slip, but unfortunately they only had copies of Part 3. Um, Despite owning multiple editions of this, I had to pick it up for that price because of that awesome slipcover. Uh, so not only did I pick one copy up, but I picked up another copy. I removed the sticker. The sticker was only on the um, outer seal case, so removed it with no issues. I'll be keeping this one sealed, but this one is up for trade. I thought for $5, um, it's cheap. Um, and it's just a cool addition. So if anyone is interested in doing some sort of trade with me for this, uh, definitely let me know. If not, that's cool, but I thought for the price and considering it's relatively rare, I'd pick up a second copy to see if you guys are interested in a trade and just to help you guys out. So as I said, if anyone is up for a trade for this, let me know. Now onto the box set. I picked this one up from Big W. It is the Ghostbusters 1 and 2 limited edition gift set. 
Um, I wasn't even aware that this was around until I saw Dave over at Got Horror doing an unboxing of this and absolutely loved it. Never thought I'd ever track down a copy, but it was advertised in the Big W uh, toy sale catalog, so glad to pick it up um, for a really good price. I'm not going to unbox this because it is an absolute bitch to open up and get everything out of, plus I want to keep it as is just for a display piece on the shelf, but as you can see there's the um, Marshmallow Man figurine, it's a sideshow collectible. Then we turn it around here, you get the little puddle of slime, the back of it there, and Ghostbusters 1 and 2 on DVD, and some collectible cards inside there. Overall this is a great box set, um, really really well designed with all the um, see-through windows and yeah just a really nice box set and a great price my store only had two copies obviously they've only got one now so guys if you're interested in picking this box set up from Big W I'd advise getting in as quickly as you can because I'm assuming that there would be probably limited stock at each store um, so yeah I have no idea how rare or how expensive this normally goes for but I think I got it for a really good price so Happy to have this, it'll be another great box set for the collection. So that is it for this update, hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, thanks a lot for watching.